Welcome to Martha's Kitchen where we cook and serve with love. And in this video, a lot of my friends have been asking me how my cats are healthy and yet I don't get the normal expensive food from the stores. So cats are one of the easiest pets to have because they eat our everyday food. And today I will be showing you how to make your cat food with omena because it's really cheap fish that gives them all the calcium and nutrients that they need. And this will help you save your budget big time. Now I'm not talking about the expensive breeds of cats like the Samis cats or Passion cats, no. These are our local cats that are able to eat anything that we eat on a daily basis. So let's get cooking. And here are ingredients. You will be needing one really tiny red onion. Then you'll be needing one tomato chopped up and diced. Please go ahead, chop up and dice the red onion as well, ready for cooking. Then of course you'll need some omena. I normally get 50 shillings worth of omena and this normally lasts me a good two weeks. And in every meal every day I put in two full tablespoons of omena into the mix. Then I normally use leftover rice and this should be just one cup of rice. And this meal is usually enough to last the cats the whole day from morning to evening with food. Then I have some garam masala or you can flavor with burkum choosy mix or any flavoring that you wish and some cooking oil. So let's continue cooking our cat food. So we're about to start frying our cat food and with our chopped up tomatoes, I have put in two pinches of salt for taste. Then I've put in a quarter teaspoon of garam masala and I've also added quarter cup of water so that your stew or sauce, sauce is a bit watery. And when you put in the rice, it's nice and soft for the cats to eat. So let's go ahead and fry our cut food. On a normal basis, it should take you just 10 minutes. Excellent. So go right ahead and put your stove on to medium heat. And then um, throw in your one tablespoon of cooking oil and your red onion and have them fry a little bit until they start to turn a good brown. Wonderful. And as your onions brown, pour in your tomato mix like so. And then give it a good five minutes so that your tomatoes are soft and you're able to crush them down. Wonderful. And once your tomato mixture starts boiling, please go ahead and put in your amena two spoons two tablespoons like so then you can stir it up so that it boils and becomes a little bit soft because most of the omena we find in the shops is already dry so that it lasts a long time so you do need to soften it in this tomato sauce so that your cats can actually eat and finish the food. If you give them dry, they'll eat, but there'll always remain a lot of omena on the plate, and you don't want that. You want them to eat and finish their food. So go ahead and leave the omena to boil with the tomatoes for a good five minutes, like so. And then we're about to crush our tomatoes. And after five minutes, go ahead and crush your tomatoes down like so, until they're all perfectly crushed and you have a really nice tasty tomato soup. Excellent. 
When your sauce is nice and thick like so, go ahead and add your already cooked rice because it's leftover rice. Like I did say, cuts are pretty inexpensive. Go ahead and mix it like so. Basically, it's just so that your rice can warm up. And after a really good mix, honestly, your cat food is done. It's nice, it's healthy, it's sumptuous. And of course, we're going to have our cats taste it. But you can also taste it to see if there's too much salt or too much spice or whatever, because it is also what we eat sometimes, omena. And you'll know just how amazing this stew is by just tasting with your finger to see if it's perfect. And there he is enjoying his cat food because they're the ultimate tasters. And by evening, there will not be any food at all. Wow, 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 look at that, look at that. They just love this food. Excellent. And if you like the recipes that I've been churning out every week, kindly press the like and the subscribe button and let's meet here every Mondays for a new and exciting recipe. And please don't forget that this cat recipe is typed down in the description box down below. So have yourselves a great week and bye!